Who are we as the people of this land? And what are we supposed to do? Who are we? Who are we? Pastor Dennis. Mr. Dennis. Are you come and tell us? You have heard enough of this. You have said and said and talked. Yes. You come and share with us. And any other person, please. So briefly, don't, don't take it too far. Just share briefly what you know about. Come here. What's your story? Yes, good. Question uh, is about who are we? The discussion is very easy concerning with our sub region. First of all, you see the nature of the land. And based on social, economical, and cultural and religious. For example, in the Torah, we are having hospitality. When the person comes, he begs from another side. And maybe he's asking for the direction of the way. Somebody holds his hand and takes him where he's supposed to be. Another thing. And we are talking about the nature of the service. So on that very point, we have the food basket. For example, if the Torah is one of the district, uh, one of the some regions that, uh, that is leading in producing matoke. So I think most of you know. Another one concerning hospitality. For example, in our region now, as we talk, we are having two refugee camps. One is Jaka in Chegeba, and another one is in Luanga. Yes. 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 So, uh, concerning this person, there is a, there is a, uh, the groaning spirit. The groaning, groaning spirit. When a person is praying and interceding, that is what you can see. See that. See that. See that. That's what I can talk about. Wow. Please, can we appreciate God for Pastor Dan? Now, I, 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 I know that at least there is, uh, there is some work which has been done in this life. Pastor Dan is uh, Pastor Rose. For a very long period of time, they have given us a platform in their church, in this land, you know, to, to listen to the messages which God has been giving us. Now I feel proud. If I can see Pastor Dennis, you know, sharing, knowing exactly what this land is, and what this land is supposed to be. Can we appreciate Pastor Dennis? Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Who is, who is a Mutoro? How can, you, 
What, what is so special about you? Can you talk about yourself? In, in Uganda, <laughs> there is a saying that he, now, I want you to walk as a mutoro. What is so special about you? What is so unique about you? That uniqueness in you. We need it. It has to come out. Other people need it. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, it's for us, but we have this plane. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Boda Boda Agamba Muzi Kchoka Mtu Abu Kwali Hatu Nukwali Asange Muntundi Yatiru Hatu Ogum Seja Agamba Nyonja Kumuhiri Tere Nyengu Hatu Bali Univayiki That is hospitality Other people don't have other people's type Avanto Avanto Tebe Nyi Avanto Ogili Aha Yes No problem, so long as you are in this land. Hospitality again. Everything now you are talking about tourism. That's hospitality. Yes. Humble, bright. Bright, humble. Uh huh. Yes, several. They like socializing so much. They are social people. Banca wa kubasa na watai babo. Your CV now. So, <laughs> uh, 
Can you, can you first go to the Bible in the Psalms 139, so we can verse 15 to 17? Can we read that scripture very briefly? I'm not going to explain it you know, in a few details because of time. Mm -hmm. Please, if, if you are there, please, you can read. Yes, 39.15. Yeah, nobody can read for us. Yes. My friend was not even for me. Mm -hmm. When I was made in second, Mm. I skillfully walked in the close parts of the earth. Mm. Your eyes saw my substance. Being yet unformed, and in your book, they all were written. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, what is this psalmist trying to tell us? The psalmist is telling us that before God created us, before each one of us entered into your mother's womb, God saw you. What was that? What, what, what was that which God was seeing? What was before God? Before, before He created you. Before you entered into your mother's womb. And after seeing that, he even wrote it in his books. So when God was creating the Batol, what did he first create before he created you? What was before him? And what did God write in his books about the people of this land? Are you getting it? Amen. We are in this scripture. That God saw my flame. He saw my uniformed circumstance. Before I even came into my mother's home. What was that which God, which God was seeing? What was that? Okay. Now, are you seeing this church? Before it was built, they, they had it. They were seeing it. Are you getting it? Amen. They first drew a plan. What is the purpose of us having plans for our houses? What is the purpose of a plan? Mm -hmm. Number one, why do we why do we Draw plans for our houses. Because according to this scripture, Jesus, uh, the Bible is showing us <laughs> that uh, God had a plan. 
So this scripture is talking about a plan which God had before he even created us. And he even put that plan on, in his books. What is the purpose of a plan? Now we are talking about a plan of a house. Then if we understand that, to help us, to help us to understand even what God was doing, or why he first had a, why he first had a plan before creating us. Uh -huh. What is the purpose of a plan? Yes, Pastor Demi. Exactly. Are you getting it? The plan of a house tell us the purpose of the building. They use how the how the building is gonna be used. Are we together? Yes. Now, if I look at the plan of this this building. Automatically, I just know that this place is going to be used as a church. Okay, what else? Because of time. Mm -hmm. What else do you think is, is the importance of us having a plan before we build? Focus. Yes, if it gives us the focus. It gives us the focus. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh huh. What else? Yes. The what? It gives us the structure. Are you getting it? Now we can definitely know how if, if by looking at the plan of this church, we can know how it will look like. Am I right? I can I can just know how the church will look like by looking at the, the plan. I can even see where where the windows will be. I can know where the color they will put. On it. I can see I can I can see all those things by just looking at the plan. Am I right? Mm -hmm. What else do you think is yes? Yes. It, you, you know you can't go wrong if you properly follow the plan. Are you writing those things? You avoid mistakes. Mm -hmm. What else? Yes. The what? Confirmation. Confirmation. Hmm? I'm not getting her. Yes. The cost. The cost. Amina, Amen. You, 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 you can determine the cost. Yes. That's the cost. Yes. It helps you to determine the capacity of the land of Christ. The, the what? The capacity of the land. Okay. Why, why, why can't you put all that in costs and all that? Yes. Nature. nature, yes, the nature. Nature of materials. Nature of materials. Because now, the plan will specify the type of materials. Now, if you go back and look at the plan of this church, it will even show you the color of the, of the iron sheets. Am I right? 
Okay. It will give you everything. So that's the purpose of the plan. Now, this is exactly why God had to first draw a plan before creating the Batolo. Before give you know, before creating the different types of people. Why are we different? Why are we different in, a, in our localities? Why are we different from our languages? Why are we different from our temperaments? Temperaments, the way how, you know, that, I think that's the emotional uh, the way how you people express themselves. Are we getting it? Those are, that's why we, there are those differences. The way how something's designed will definitely give us or show us how it's gonna be used. So the way how God designed the mutoro. It is, it is, you know, it it, it designed you people according to what, according to your purpose. According to how he wanted you people to function. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why you should always appreciate who you are. Yes, mama. Don't create a so he created a mm-hmm. and then created a story according to the plan of story. Uh-huh. Wow. Have you got that? So you what you see that the purpose of the purpose upon our life is the purpose upon this land. Just tell your neighbor that uh, whatever Tolo is is what you are. Whatever Tolo is supposed to do is what you are supposed to do. You get your blessings you get your calling or your assignment, or your destiny from the land where God has blessed you. Amina. That's why if you don't love it, we have already said it. If you don't love it, if you don't pray for it, if you don't care about it, you cannot be fulfilled. Again, again, if you don't interpret the dreams of Toro, even your dreams cannot be fulfilled. Hallelujah. We are seeing a man called uh, Joseph. Joseph, when you go back and read the uh, Genesis chapter 37, this man is having them. He has big dreams. Where, where, where you saw his brothers bowed down before him. Where, where you saw his father, his father, you know, his mother and the brothers, you know, bowed before him. But how did those dreams come to pass? How did those dreams come to pass? All of us here we have big dreams. God has said a lot of things upon our lives, upon our churches. But how will those dreams get to pass? Tell your neighbor that the moment you, you, you interpret the dreams of this land, it is when even the dreams upon your life will be interpreted. Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor that, please, can you start focusing on 
what God has called. Can you, can you start focusing on the destiny of Toro? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I have a question. Yes, please. There are some people who migrate from one place to another. Are they coming with the vision of their area or from their area or they just have, have uh, used that religion? We have already said God, God, God does. You, you get the vision or God put the vision or the destiny on the land. So every land, every nation has its own purpose. When you read uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 41, when Jesus entered into Jerusalem, he was not, he was not even addressing the people. He was not, he was not crying for for people. He was praying for Jerusalem. Are you getting it? Joseph had dreams. He had these dreams from Canaan, where he was born from. But where did the dreams which he, 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 you know, he got from Canaan, where did they get fulfilled from? But how? The, the question now comes, how? This man did not fight on how he can interpret his own dreams. Joseph was not an Egyptian. He was, he was, he was, he was from Canaan. But when he focused on the dreams of the land where he went, it is when even his dreams were interpreted. Are we together? Yes. God brought you from Katapu. If he wants the dreams upon your life to be interpreted, interpret the dreams of this land where you are. Is your question answered? Amen. Amen. Mama, you had. Hey, okay. You first finish. You will see. Mm. That's why the Isaiah 62 verse 4. Mm. Like you must marry the land. You must marry the land. You must love the land. When you're going to And then, then uh, he had already said in that scripture, that you, must pray, you must pray for the land where I have been. Jeremiah 29 verse 7. Yes, you must pray for the land where I have been. So even if you make great, you have to pray for the land where you go with the whole family. No, no, no. family. You have to read to Bunyol and start praying for that place of Bunyol. How together? Yeah. yeah. So if, if the dreams of the, you see, where do you get your blessings? Where do you get the, your blessings? Not from heaven. No, here, where you are. Where you are. You see, there is a lot of. Now, you, 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 you see what is happening in our churches. We pray. There is no generation which has ever prayed like, like this generation. But why, why is it that we are almost lacking everything? Why? How can we get out of you know, the prisons of poverty? How did Joseph get out of prison? Are we together? So if you focus on the land, definitely the land will bless you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So now. Out of what we have shared, I want to give you some principles. Now, out of these principles, 
I'm going to give you this one as a homework. Can we how can we how can I know we so kumanyanta who we are and what we are supposed to do? And what are some what are some of the principles we can use? What are some of the principles we can use? Please, I want you to go back. You think about this prayerfully. Write down, write down some of these, some of them. Amen. Amen. So these are the these are principles. Things which can help us to know who we are. Number one. We can look at the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel. Two. We look at the nation. We look at the history of, of this land. Three. We look at the name of Toro. You look at the culture. Of the people of this land. You look at. Uh, oh, my pastor from Kasese, you are most welcome. Amen. Amen. So you look at uh, the scriptures. Amen. Amen. So we are we are we are we are outlining things which can help us to understand who we are and what we are supposed to do. You you can you uh, you can you can you can look at the prophecies. Prophecies upon this land. Uh, we can look at uh, the work, the work being done by the people of this land. We can, we can look at the temperament. We can look at uh, the um, what else? The challenges the people of this land have gone through. What else, what else can we look at? What else can we look at to tell us who we are or to help us to find out who we are as we this land? By prayer, you can pray. Or inquire the spirit of God. Holy Spirit. You can inquire the spirit of God. The spirit of God can definitely tell us who we are. Amina. So we can use these things. Eh? They can help us. There could be some other things. Uh, but uh, these are some of the things which the Lord has, you know, revealed to us. Now, how can we use the nation of Israel to know who we are? You just write out down this statement that every tribe or nation on earth is connected to a particular tribe of Israel. Even, even, even the Batoro, even the people of Renzoli. There is a particular tribe of Israel you are connected with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we get time, we'll expound it. Now, if you look at your history as the people of this land, it shows something about who you are and what you are supposed to do. Write this one down. That you, you are connected to 
what you go through or you are connected to your history so if you go back and dig deeply and study the, the, the history of this land you will find that there is, it will show you something about who you are and what you are supposed to do as the people of this land. Possibly tomorrow I will give time to the history and the nation of Israel. The name, your name. <laughs> now, right now we are focusing on the land, the entire land, Renzoli, Toro region. Those names they have they have they have a meaning. So what does the name Toro mean? What does the name Renzoli mean? Now, for instance, I come from Buganda. The moment I mention my name, what will come, what will come into your mind? That I'm a Muga? Have you seen, have you seen that you have started identifying me? By using what? By, by, by my name. Hallelujah. Now, Hey, he's a Muganda. Now, by my name, you can you can even find out my clan. Hey, uh, there's what we call a kobe. It is a, it is a fruit. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, every clan in Uganda, it has. A role a duty before the king of Uganda. Every tribe in Uganda, in any nation, it has a duty, it has an assignment before the king of kings. So, what is your Duty as the Batoro before the King of Kings. Me, my clan, in my clan, or our clan, we are the people who loof. <coughs> we are the people who loof, uh, the, you know, shrines in Uganda. Are you getting it? Amen. And specifically, my name or my clan. My name is Nsereko. So Nsereko means Rufi. So we are the one of those people who, 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 who have this name and the one who from that clan are the one who are supposed to roof. <laughs> that, that is their duty in the, before the king. Are you getting it? Now, I, I, I bless the Lord so much that I, I, I never looked in a shrine. Now I'm, I'm looking for this house. <laughs> So our names describe who we are and what we are supposed to do. Have you ever bothered to find out what does the name Toro mean? It will give you who you are and the assignment you have before the King of Kings. Even the character. The culture of Batoro. It was only corrupted by the devil. I mean now. Amen. Amen. But it's, it's, not the, it's not the devil who created the culture. Culture it means language, the way how people behave, the way how people do things, the way how people dance. How do the Batoros dance? Uh, I don't know it. 
Now, how? Why don't you dance like the Baganda? I welcome to dance like the Baganda. <laughs> why, why, why do you think the Bagandas are not dancing for Nyege? No, 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 it's not, it's not all about that. It's about purpose. Everything is about purpose. Are you getting it? It's about purpose. But now, the moment, the moment, the moment we did not bother about the culture, the devil corrupted it. Amen. Amen. Now, let me just give you an example of where I'm coming from. I told you this is an assignment. Now I'm just giving examples. Now, in Uganda, the way how we dance is totally different from the way how we people dance. We mechanize amone kusikire ni kukuzeli. Esther, come and demonstrate us. Esther, you know the Baganda stars. Yeah, you. We mutoro, but you come. She's coming for tea. Baganda, 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 Baganda. You come here. Can I, can, I, can I get one mutoro to come and <laughs> just say <laughs> simple to, to demonstrate a winyeke? <laughs> Please, there's something I want us to do. Yes, well, you come. Okay. Yes. You, you, you. <laughs> huh? Are you getting it? Now. Now, have you, have, have, you, have you seen briefly the difference? You, have you seen the difference? What was the difference? What was the difference? Mm -hmm. Speed. Uh -huh. What else? The motions. How were the motions? Much of the legs. Uh -huh. For her, she did what? Perfect. Why do you think for her or for the Baganda they use much of the West? <laughs> and for you, you use much of the, the legs and the hands. <laughs> Sometimes I see that, that, that what, what, what are those things which they tie? Runyege, <laughs> yes. Now, why do you think for you 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 target your you know your 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 your, your dances are specific at the legs and, and move, move the hands. Yes. Are you getting it now? Briefly. Now. According to. When you see the Baganda dance, mm. it was corrupted yeah. by the devil. I have a school, and we were dancing that, those dances of the Baganda. And the Lord told us that that is not my dance. That dance was corrupted. Yes. And he started, he started giving us Okay, we went and started inquiring. How does, how do, how does, what does those dances? How, why, why are you, why are you using much of the the West? <laughs> Some of them they told us, you know, they they didn't give us clear answers. But when you prayed, the Spirit of God was very smart. He, he told us that every style in the Chiganda dance is a, 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 a sex style. Are you getting it? They work, they work, they change their drums, they, they drum me. <laughs> they are showing you. 
Amen. Now, now I, I have, why do you think you use much of the, the legs and the have you ever thought about that? If you don't, if you don't discover it, definitely the devil is gonna use it. I'm getting it. So you people, you're supposed to be missionaries. You are supposed to, you are supposed to, to, to walk. Yeah, tomorrow, 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 if time, if time allows, we will we'll discuss. The, this land of Toro, God used it to spread the gospel actually in all the neighboring nations. The, I don't know whether you have ever read about how, how the gospel went to Ankole. It was you people who took it. It's you people who took the gospel to Bunyoro. Southern Sudan. It was you people. Some parts of Kong. It were the people from this land. And that was, those are some of the achievements of King David Kasadama. Amen. And that is who you are, you people. If you don't revive it, the devil, the devil is planning to revive it. We'll see that tomorrow. We'll see that tomorrow. Now, is there any scripture which talks about you? Yes. Though it's not specifically talking about you alone as, as the Bator. But Isaiah 18 is talking about, it's not actually, it's talking about the entire interacastarine region. At first I used to know that it was only talking about Uganda. But it is not it's talking about the intercastarine region. And that is the region which which was uh, influenced and ruled by the Batwes. And the people they described in, in that scripture. Amen. Amen. So is there any prophecy upon this land? We need to know this. Those prophecies might also lead us to know who are these people called the Batoro. What are they supposed to do? When I talk about prophecies, I talk about prophetic visions and dreams. I, I talk about, you know, uh, people, you know, God can use someone like, as I'm standing here, and I say what the Lord is revealing to me about you. Before, before there was, before there were, there were a lot of, you know, intermingling, eh? Different people coming in this land. What were the people of this land? What were they? What was their main work? Who knows? Who knows the indigenous people of this land? What was their main work? Yes. No, no, no. no. What were they doing? I mean the Batoro, the first Batoros here. What were they doing? They were hunters. They were hunters. Amina. So this one alone shows something about you people and, and what you are supposed to do. The temperaments. We, we, have, we have mentioned some of them here. That you people, you are social, you are what and all, what and all that. Then the challenges, the challenges you have gone through as the people of this land, they are connected to your destiny. Tell your neighbor that 
the destiny, the rather the challenges you go through are connected to your destiny. So whatever these people, whatever this land has gone through, it is an indicator, it's an indication of who you are and what you are supposed to do. Let me, can I give you an example in the Bible? You look at Joseph. Can you look at the, the life of Joseph? Whatever step he went through in his life, all the challenges in his life were connected to who he was and what he was supposed to do. He was hated by his brothers. He was sold by his brothers. Why do you think would have happened if they had not sold him? What do you think they would have sold him if they loved him? No. So even if even the rejection was connected to the destiny of this boy. Even this man being sold as a slave was connected to his destiny. Why do you think of all places, of all people, this man had to work in Potiphar's house? God put this man in this house, in Potiphar's, in Potiphar's house. Because Potiphar was one of the, the, the big people, the, the, the big people in the land. Very many big people came to his house. So he had to learn how they handled. He had to learn how, you know, you know, big people, how they behave. So that's how he had to go through that. And why do you think this man, this man Joseph was, was you know, went into a prison where, 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 where the officials of the king are being imprisoned? Now, who, who, who do you think would have, you know, spoke into the ear of the, of, of, of the king if Joseph had not gone to that very prison. So are you seeing that all the challenges this man went through were, 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 were just vehicles to his destiny? Amen. Amen. Please, can you start celebrating your challenges? Because your challenges are connected to who you are. Your challenges are, they, they, they are drivers. They are vehicles into your destiny. Amen. Amen. So lastly, if you want to know who we are, we pray, we ask the Spirit of God, we inquire. Luke chapter 2, verse 26, 27. There is a man called Simeon. The Bible says that the, the Spirit of God told him that he will never die until he has seen the Savior. Are you getting it? Amen. So this man left everything and prayed for only that. And the day he saw the Savior, said, no, please now, send off your, your servant. My assignment is over. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Spirit of God can tell you uh, who you are and what you are supposed to do. Amen. Amen. Please write down these uh, issues and uh, go back home and go back home. Please write something about each of these points. <coughs> Amen. Amen. And after after we after we have discussed them together, we'll come up with something or we'll come up with the writer.
which will show who we are and what we are supposed to do as the people of this land. Hallelujah. So the missionaries in this land, that is the message you will take to all the people in this land. And this is who we are according to the nation of Israel, according to our history, according to our name, according to our, to our culture, according to the scriptures, the prophecies about upon this land, the work, the temperaments, the challenges, and what the Spirit of God could reveal. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We are. I'm told. My, 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 my pastor has told me that we are going to stop at 5 30. So we have around uh, 40 minutes, 40 something minutes. Can we have. Five minutes. A break of five minutes. Yes. We are putting we are putting five. Yes. 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 So can we have five minutes? We so discuss we briefly down. about what you have shared. And then we come back and use those 35 minutes.